Hi, it's Tina again today, and I this is part one of the ATC card tutorial um, that I'm going to walk you through. So the first thing I did was actually take a couple of the Echo ATC cards that were in the August kit, and I'm going to just coat them with gesso. And the reason I was doing this is because I wasn't quite sure yet what I was going to create with my cards. Um, I thought maybe I would paint on them or possibly just stencil right on them. So that's what I'm doing here at the very beginning because I wasn't sure yet exactly what I was going to create with my ATC card. So after those were dry, um, I actually decided that I was going to cut out one of the ATC shapes from the ephemera sheet, which are perfectly sized for these ATC cards. So I'm just trimming off the excess from the um, shape that I decided to use for my ATC card. And I'm going to adhere it to the ATC card with some of the gel medium. Um, I'm just using the gel medium from the July kit um, for my project. Um, that's one thing that I personally really like about the kits is the product is um, reusable. You can use it over and over again. So it's an awesome way to build up your stash if you don't have a lot of money and you really want to get into mixed media these kits are a great way to build up your stash because usually you'll get normal sized um, product samples in your kits. It won't be just a small one. It'll be the actual product size. Not all the time, but generally you will. So you can see I had adhered the ATC ephemera sheet on top of the ATC card. So now I'm going to use my glitter paste and I'm using one of my favorite stencils. This is actually a Jenny Bolin stencil. And I'm just applying the glitter paste on top of the ATC card. So I let that dry. You can dry it with a heat tool or um, air dry. Actually, before it dried, I forgot that I did this step, um, I took some of the Magicals from Lindy's Stamp Gang and just sprinkled some onto the wet glitter paste just to see what it would do. I was kind of curious to see what would happen. And it actually reacted with the glitter paste and created a really beautiful, um, almost deep purpley blue color. You can see that on the ATC card and in the close-ups you can see that even more. Um, so I'm just using the excess here. I took one of my other ATC cards and I didn't want the mineral powder to go to waste so I just spritzed it and put it on top of another card for future use in case I decided to use it. So once that was dry, um, now I'm deciding what I want to do to my ATC card. So one of the ephemera shapes was this fun little angel piece. So I'm just fussy cutting the outside of that shape out because I'm going to go ahead and use that shape with one of those word shapes. I think I used the word create. Um, you can see those three shapes on top of the ATC card. I'm just cutting those out right now and just placing them around various spots on the card just to see kind of where I wanted them to be on my finished project. And then I also um, wanted to use one of the windows that were in the kit, um, the little inchy shaped windows. I thought that would be fun to use on the card as well. So you can just see me trying different ideas here. I wasn't quite sure again what I wanted to do um, yet. Um, so now I'm going to, I decided I wanted to use the inchy window shape, but I wanted it um, to be white. I really didn't want it to be the natural wood color. So I'm just coating it right now with some gesso. You can see me doing that very frequently. Gesso is always on my desk. Um, when else, when all else fails, just put a layer of gesso on it. It's kind of what I say, because you can always recolor it to something that you want. And you actually saw me uh, gesso one of the buttons from the kit as well because I thought that would be kind of fun to have in case I wanted to um, use that on this card too. So I just went ahead since I had my gesso out and applied some gesso on top of one of those buttons. So now what I'm going to do, um, since the ephemera paper is, is thin, I wanted to add some stability to it. So I just took one of my ATC shapes as... Um, 
my spare and you can see me using some of that gel medium and I'm just adhering those to one of the ATC shapes. So it's not real thick but it's actually going to add some stability to me. So I'm going to let that dry. So now one thing I kind of found, it was a kind of a, a mistake or um, a happy mistake. Um, one of the microfilm sheets that were in the kit, I was like, I wonder what would happen to it if I actually heated it and it started to curl which is kind of what I thought it would do. So I thought that was kind of a cool effect. You can see it started to curl up on the edges there. Um, I'm just trying not to touch it because it was pretty hot. Um, it really didn't curl exactly how I wanted. So I thought, how about if I roll it up into a little like paper scroll shape, which is what I'm doing right here, and wrap a piece of twine around it. And I thought that would be kind of a fun little embellishment for my ATC card um, using the microfilm sheet kind of in a different way so that's what I'm doing right here is I'm just cutting a piece of twine so I can tie it around my microfilm I'm just going to cut off the excess. So now I'm going to take the inchy window piece that I had coated with gesso and now I'm going to liberally apply some of the glitter paste and I'm not being too careful about how it goes on to it. I'm okay that some of the sections are actually um, the little squares inside the window pane are almost completely filled with the glitter paste because when it dries it is somewhat transparent and it creates a really fun glitter iridescent um, sheen to it so I applied it to the square and I also applied it to some uh, on top of that button again I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to do yet but I thought I'd have some pieces ready in case I wanted to use them for my project so now the two pieces that I fussy cut are dry on that spare piece of ATC so now I'm just cutting them out um, and you can see it's not super thick but it added enough stability for what I wanted to do for my ATC card. The other thing too um, even though the kit comes with five ATC cards there's actually ATC cards in your packaging so the ATC card that's in the packaging for the anchors, the ATC card that's in the packaging for your whales, you can use those as well. Um, that's one thing that I always do. Um, even the uh, chipboard paper that um, is taped to your ephemera sheet, you can use that in your projects. You can make mixed media layouts out of them. You can um, stencil on top of them. You can paint on top of them. And you can also use those in your projects too. So. Just because it's packaging, don't overlook that in your projects. So now I'm using my Inca Gold from the kit and I'm just rubbing it on the edges of the, the little um, angel on her wings and stuff. And I'm going to do the same with the little saying, create. Um, I love this Inca Gold uh, rub on it. It dries almost instantly and it, it creates such a beautiful sheen to the projects. So now I'm doing the same thing on the edges of the ATC card. So now what I decided to do, I actually had um, one of the squares cut out from the microfilm strip that came in the kit. And I had just been playing around with it previously and put some um, gesso on the bottom of it just to see if you could really make that image pop. And, and I could. And you can see the white gesso on the edges. Um, but I thought I add, would add a little bit more interest and dimension to the square piece. So I thought I would go ahead and take some of my gel medium and just adhere it to the bottom side of it. So again, when you can, can peek through the little squares inside that window, you can see the microfilm underneath of it. And again, it's a little tiny detail. I'm probably the only one that could see it, but I really liked that look. I thought it was kind of a cool, fun 
way to use the microfilm in a, in a unique, different way. So now I'm just going to go after everything's dry. I'm just gluing it all down on top of my ATC card. And it all came together pretty quick. I'm just putting the little square window on the bottom and my sentiment create in the middle. And I'm putting the little angel right on top of the create. And then I'll just glue the um, microfilm paper roll that I uh, tied up with twine on top of the little square piece. And my ATC card is finished. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial today and thank you for watching.